All right, guys, welcome to a short episode for Zero Supervision. Uh, I am here with Joe. Joe, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty fantastic. Ready to start a new uh, stage in the podcasting industry. Yeah, yeah. It's, you sound like you're pretty fantastic, like you're chipper, very chipper. I am. I am. Yeah? I am. Shipper today. Oh, that's yeah. so nice. Anyways, so um, the first like 30 seconds to a minute of this has to be extremely ad friendly. So here we are. We are super polite and professional for this. Uh, but we do want to be advertised. So this does have to be, uh, you know, proper and professionalistic. I can't kind insult of? Billy's being. I can't call him certain names that mm. I would like to call him. But if you listen, if you listen past the first minute, you will hear some amazing things. Yeah. Like how big uh, of a cunt Joe is. You can't say that. Uh, we're past a minute and ten seconds. Oh, are we? Yes. Oh, go. Go. Fuck the <laughs> God damn it. I hate that Jesus, cunt. can you not fucking count? I wasn't looking. <laughs> I don't know. Fucking... What's two plus two? Jello. <laughs> Jello. Fucker. <laughs> All right, so let's get this shit started. Let's let's start with some infuriating shit. One of my favorite roles being fucked up. Fucking the Joker is being played by Joaquin Phoenix. Well, in the movie that's going to be directed by Martin Scorsese. So it's highly probable that he will play it. I don't think it's been confirmed yet. But no, he, yes, he he accepted it. Oh, he well, accepted the role. Yeah, I'm I'm not happy with anything now. Joaquin, if you fuck this up, I swear to God. I swear to God, I will tear you apart. <laughs> All right, so I was ready to, like, really hate on this shit. I really was. And then I looked at his IMBD because I was like, all right, let's see what the fuck he's done that may be comparable to this. And if you remember Gladiator, he played the fucking Emperor in Gladiator. He was kind of fucking nuts in that. So it might be okay. It wasn't exactly... He as... wasn't Joker nuts. Joker is, like, boisterous and loud and, you know, everything that Joaquin Phoenix is not actually yeah he's he uh he's kind of quiet i think uh i think it has something to do a little bit with that hair lip of his but whatever oh, wow wow way to way to go straight for the jugular <laughs> well, i'm, just oh, I'm trying to be nice like... about it but let's talk about that hair lip I mean, you ever think about growing a mustache for that thing man <laughs> he has he has for the movie her he grew a mustache for that <laughs> i mean okay we could have had river phoenix his brother who unfortunately died of a uh, designer drug overdose but then we got you know joaquin phoenix the uh second lead actor in signs ah uh, so the, the runner-up okay yeah the, right. uh, the lesser of two brothers let's wait, say wait a minute wait a minute he's he got the second lead in signs so he got outplayed by crazy old man rivers mel gibson yeah yeah and uh i and mean see, not only that they I, could I have... think he comes in he comes in behind the the macaulay culkin brother that nobody remembers the name of see th like i feel like mel gibson would have been a better uh joker than joaquin phoenix he plays crazy yeah. r really well in real life that's just who he is. <laughs> they were like, Bo Gibson, the only note that I have for you is just be more you. Be as much you as you want to be. Lay off the racism a little bit, though, please. <laughs> I had heard for a while that it might have been Leonardo DiCaprio, which I'd have been I would have been okay with more accepting of. Yeah, because he, he he he's done crazy before and he does like kind of big roles because he did uh like big in personality roles like uh we need wolf of wall street that guy was fucking like just out there and i think he could have done almost that and just made him the joker yeah no i like i think there's just a lot better picks and i know a lot of people weren't fans of jared leto's joker but honestly like he was like supposed to be the joker after batman like completely and utterly destroyed him which is why he had like fucked up teeth and he was a little more crazy than normal. I would have loved to have seen him reprise the role one more time just to try and do the Joker in earlier years to see if he could redeem that. Well, they are making a Suicide Squad too, Because, you know, Suicide Squad is a uh, Academy Award winning movie. Yeah. So, I think Suicide Squad would have been considerably better if they had actually had Joker in it more. Instead, they had... Who the fuck was the main antagonist oh oh um um the witch um 
Yeah, yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. Like Joe's in the comic books, and who gives a fuck? That's yeah. that's that's who she is. Like, why would they even have her? I understand that Joker's been used as the main antagonist for you know Heath Ledger, Jack Nicholson, but I'm I wouldn't have an issue with Jared Leto reprising the role as a younger Joker and seeing how he could play that. Uh, I'm not sure how big of a toll it took on him. Because I know that playing the Joker can be an all-encompassing role. But um, I would have still been way more interested than Joaquin fucking Phoenix. I mean, I'm assuming they're going to do something that's like the Killing Joke where they go into his backstory and and it'll be something like that. I, I, look, I mean, I like Joaquin Phoenix. He's, he's a great actor. I, I don't have any problems with him. He's done, a yeah, lot he's of good, he's done some really good movies. He's okay. He's, He's done some pretty good. Like, he was the f- in in like Gladiator. He was fucking awesome, and then like her, he was fucking awesome. I think every movie that he's been in, he's been outshined by another actor. That's my biggest issue here. When he's supposed to be taking the main role of Joker, I, <laughs> I would say this is more controversial than Michael Keaton playing Batman, which was awesome though. So- I, I mean, that was that was controversial, but. He was badass. I, it, like, Joaquin Phoenix has never demonstrated anything at all. But you know what? The same can be said for Heath Ledger before he played the Joker. Who the fuck knew he was going to be so good at it, you know? I mean, maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe I, it'll be the worst fucking movie ever, and we'll be thanking God for Jared Leto's Joker. Which, <laughs> you know, kind of is a little... Uh, he definitely went somewhere with it. He didn't... He wasn't trying to knock off Heath Ledger's, and he wasn't trying to do the Jack Nicholson. He did some of his own whatever shit, but... I mean, honestly, I, I will say... I will say, for him playing the Joker, his Joker was the first one that legitimately just creeped me out when he got overly friendly with the... Uh, well, the guy in the club that was commenting oh, on Harley Quinn, and he got super fucking friendly. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, it was the <laughs> only time that I've been creeped out by the Joker. Like, I thought Heath Ledger's Joker was fucking hilarious. Um, and Jack Nicholson's, he was campy, and that's the yeah. character he was going for. But uh, he, or not Heath Ledger, but uh, Jared Leto's, his was the one that I found creepy. Yeah. Like, he was just a straight up murderer and he was psychotic about it like i said heath ledger the magic trick thing kind of like put that in motion he was just fucking hilarious because it, it happened so fast and then the movie just moved on from <laughs> and it takes you a minute to be like holy fuck that thing went in his fucking skull like i didn't it didn't hit me at first and i was like holy shit that's oh so no good. it fucking hit me and i just found it so fucking hilarious that's the thing though, like, it, that whole movie is just like him doing like thing after thing after thing and there's no time to really process it until like it's another scene when some like lesser actor is on screen yeah. Even though I like Christian Bale, he still didn't like measure up to the Heath Ledger proportion. I'm sorry, but Christian Bale did an excellent job as Batman with throat cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when you I'm smoke Batman. balls, it's really bad for your throat. <laughs> well, in a little bit of more uh, worldly news, it seems that the Olympics uh, got hacked by uh, Russians and or the North Koreans. Uh, they had this whole... Um, thing planned with drones where they were gonna like have like a light show and all this shit and it was and then um it just didn't happen they had to cancel it they said they canceled it because there were people in the area where they were gonna be having the drone show but i'm like you know this is the opening of the olympic games don't you plan for this kind of stuff so it seems like they were unaware that they had been hacked or that it that it even was gonna happen what they ended up doing was they played a pre-recorded version of the drone show Oh uh, well, that's depressing as hell. Um, yeah. But I don't, I don't know if the North Koreans would actually participate in that because they're really, really, really trying to become like besties with South Korea right now. So I, I, I feel like Russia may have could have had their hands in it just in the fact to try and provoke other countries against North Korea by making it look like it was North Korea. But I don't know if like they, they're really trying to get along with other countries right now politically. So I don't, I don't know if I would go and run to them saying it's your fault. But I mean, that sucks because I bet you that would have been a badass light show. Well, and it wasn't just the light show that, it, like the the drones that got fucked up. Like the some of the um, like the big TV screens and stuff they used, those were fucked up. And so to prevent more damage, the the Olympic Committee website they shut that down 
and a lot of people couldn't print off their reservation passes for certain Olympic events. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't watch the luge. <laughs> well, uh, if you were watching the luge, you would have seen a big fucking accident. Some some poor girl wiped the fuck out. Oh, she that got sucks. Fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, uh, I hope she's okay. But, yeah, she she walked off. So she, oh well, I mean, okay. there's, there's good news. You know, people who are in the audience took it way too fucking serious. They're all like crying and shit and losing their fucking mind. I'm like, she walked away. It's it's okay. Oh, then fuck off, you twats. Yeah, I understand that it's sad that she crashed and it's the Olympics, but shit happens. Fuck off. She obviously dusted herself off and walked away. Stop, stop being bitches. Uh, did just, you hear? Uh, did you hear about the snowboarder? The it was just some guy. Who, who qualified for the Olympics? He didn't think he was going to play show or anything. <laughs> and then, like, oh he, shit, <laughs> uh, the first, like, the first two rounds of his three round thing, he did really bad. And then the third round, he fucking obliterated. And then he gets up there, he's like, oh, I fucking won. And they had to like cut away from him. <laughs> he fucking was cussing. <laughs> well, then he uh, he he's won that with. Hero. Yeah, I, mean, I was about to say he won that shit with class. <laughs> yeah, he's a real young t- kid too. He's like seventeen. He's like, wait, how the fuck did I get here? Is, yeah, uh, fuck is, it. Is, is weed still a frowned upon substance in the Olympics? Is this performance yeah. enhancing? No. <laughs> he kind of seems like a stoner. Well, I mean, he is he is a snowboarder. And honestly, I don't think that should be considered a performance enhancing drug. No, um, I think I might take you down a few things. Yeah, I was about to say, like at that point, you know, he could be doing other people a favor by smoking. <laughs> With the exception of a professional eating contest, I think that... It doesn't help you in any circumstance. It only uh, rolls you out a little more. Oh, hey, look, that can uh, that can be another Olympic sport uh, hot dog <laughs> eating contest. I would like, fucking love that. <laughs> I would sign up for the Olympics, and I'd be like, okay, let's do this, guys. Jo- like Joe's just like eating contest. Joe's like, as long as it's gluten free, gluten. Oh yeah, motherfucker! <laughs> God damn it, gluten free food. Oh, is just y- as good as regular food. No, it's not. Love- Eventually, we're going to do a taste test, and you're not going to be able to tell the difference. Yeah, it's going to taste it. like cardboard or deliciousness. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I will inject my water with gluten if I have oh, to. I'm having it. Disgusting. Oh, yeah, it's going to be chunky. I'll eat it with a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm just thinking about. Chunky-ass water. There you go. Throw up all over your fucking mic. That's how we're going to end this 15-minute <laughs> commercial thing. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, if you could, like and subscribe to uh, our Facebook, our Twitter, uh, our YouTube channel. We just created a YouTube channel uh, and Apple Music, Google Play Music, all that good stuff. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at Zero Supervision. You can follow me personally at Low underscore Billy Allen. And you can follow me on Twitter at Joseph underscore Lawhorn. That's L-A-W-H-O-R-N. And yeah, thank you all very much. We look forward to making more of these episodes for you guys. Go check out the long uh, form podcast that we have on our SoundCloud, on iTunes, on Google Play, Stitcher, uh, pretty much everywhere you get podcasts. Yeah, you can just go to soundcloud.com forward slash zero supervision. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.